Hi, it's Grant Hedefin, Global Director of Education for Nordic Ed, and we're in virtual reality. And what we're going to do is give you a little presentation on how to go sailing in virtual reality. So let's just uh, look around a little bit here. There's the training room. Here's some islands that we can go play in. Oh, hi, kitty cat. And so stand by for the presentation. We're going to have some fun and we'll learn about sailing in virtual reality. Welcome to Nautic Ed and how to learn how to sail and maneuver your boat with virtual reality. This is going to be a really cool presentation. So on the agenda today, we'll talk about VR and how to learn how to sail in virtual reality. So we'll go through what is a virtual reality, why learn to sail in VR, the platforms that are available, how to master sailing in VR, sailing beyond the virtual world, choosing the right gear, and then we'll show you a roadmap to learn how to master sailing. So what is VR sailing? Well, airline pilots, they're required to do simulated flight and emergency training in VR. So why is it any different for sailing? So in sailing, the VR simulates real world sailing in a digital environment with a light portable wireless headset uh, on your head. And the physics that has been put into this program is absolutely incredibly similar to sailing. I mean, you put the boat in re the engine in reverse and prop walk is going to kick in. Um, you're sailing along and you've got telltales going and they're showing that your sail is out too far or in too far. Um, so what you're going to experience is a real immersive and interactive environment. And you know what? There's no need for a boat. There's no need for a crew or favorable weather conditions. It's absolutely perfect for beginners to get started in sailing. And it's an incredible amount of fun for beginners and advanced sailors. Um, it's real world training. Well, and there's some gaming thrown in, but, but again, I want you to really think about what virtual reality sailing is. It's exactly the same for pilots. Pilots are not getting up there and going gaming. They're actually doing really real training. And this is what um, this is all about as well. So uh, why learn to sail in VR? Well, it's a risk-free, immersive and interactive environment. Uh, it's weather independent. You can just do it inside on a cold, freezing, windy day. It doesn't matter. Or if there's no wind, um, it's extremely cost effective. The headset itself is around about 300 bucks. It's accessible for absolutely everyone. And you can do it at home, anywhere, on the road, anytime. Um, the cool thing about VR is there's mistakes without consequences. So the worst I always say is you can bang your knee into the couch while you're practicing. Um, you get a lot of repetition. So if you're wanting to learn how to sail and really master it and repeat and repeat and repeat, you can do it as much as you want. And the cost is extremely low for that. And you know what? It's extremely convenient and it's very flexible. So uh, VR sailing platforms, you know, out there in the world, there's really only one. Um, it's Marineverse. That's the app that's on MetaQuest. And at Nordic Ed, what we did was we called up Marineverse and they were doing some really good gaming. And we said, hey, if you will bring in some educational environments, uh, we would love to promote you and work with you. And so Marineverse and Nordic Ed have really partnered up to create this. And as I said before, like the physics is absolutely real. I mean, you've got the, the handset in your hand and you're cranking the winch around. Um, you're bringing the sail in. Um, we've got tutorials on there that are extremely friendly. So you just read the little tutorial. Um, it's a little board. It's in the sky. And you read that and then you follow the instructions. And, you know, before you know it, you'll actually be trimming the sails and holding the helm and turning the helm into the right directions. And we've got this cool layout on the water where we've got a clock face on the water. And so we can always say to you, well, the wind is coming from 12 o'clock. We want you to sail to nine o'clock and you can see that nine and you can sail over there. So that's the really friendly tutorials that we've got going. And, and then we've got some really advanced stuff in there so like such as docking I mean, docking is one of the hardest things to do when you've got a brand new boat and you don't exactly know what you're doing you can practice docking in there with any wind direction um, any wind speed that you want 
Another thing we've got in there is some navigation rules, um, and we've gamified that. So you have to race down this uh, waterway, uh, going on the correct side of all the navigation marks. And then we can do it even with, we turn the lights out, so you have all the lights flashing, and you go in there and um, learn how to use uh, navigation marks to navigate through a channel. Um, we've got some open ocean sailing in there. We've got island hopping. And here's the real fun part about it is we've got some competitive racing. If you really want to get into the sort of the gaming side, once you get good, um, we have what we call Windy Wednesday. And every Wednesday, a whole bunch of us get on and we race against each other and around the buoys. And each race takes about four or five minutes. It's absolutely a blast. So um, I really encourage you to um, get involved in Windy Wednesday. And man, I'll tell you what, racing, if you've even been on the real water, racing makes you a good sailor. And same here in virtual reality. If you're racing in virtual reality, you're going to be a great sailor. Um, and here's the other really cool part about this is that um, we have a multiplayer version set up so that you can get on the boat with somebody else. You can actually get on with a real live instructor. You're on the same boat. You can see the instructor. The instructor can see you. Um, the instructor is giving you directions. You can be on the helm or you can be on the winch. Um, you can see and we can talk about the telltales and how those are going so that's just such a really cool uh, place to be as well so um, mastering like just maneuvers to practice you can just get in there and just start practicing jibing and tacking uh, mastering all the sailing angles to the wind with proper sail trim you'll see the no go zone and this little image right here you'll see the red uh, mark on the water uh, that's directly into the wind so you can't sail in that area so that's the cool thing about virtual reality is you can actually start to place things in the sky and we can teach people uh, how the boat works, parts of the boat. Um, and you can even see that little 12 right there. That's 12 o'clock where the wind comes from. Then the advanced maneuvers is docking, uh, Mediterranean mooring, maneuvering in the marina and tight quarters, uh, maneuvering in reverse. That's one that sort of scares everybody. And it's really great to sit there in reverse and just uh, back the boat into a really tight slip uh, with different wind directions as well. What the, the mastery part of it is that you are building muscle memory um, and that's super important. Um, what happens with muscle memory, if I taught you how to maneuver the boat right today and then you get on a boat in three months time and you're going to back the boat into the slip, you're not going to be able to do it. So I could teach you today, then in, on the real water, then you could get into virtual reality afterwards and do it two or three or 10 or 15 or 20 times right before you go out in that three month time from now. And when you go out, you will have built back that muscle memory. You will not have lost it. You've developed it. And so you'll be able to back that boat right into that slip really, really easy. And here's a cool thing. I met um, a couple at the boat show and she was saying that she really loved the virtual reality. And she looked at her husband and said, yeah, there's no mansplaining in the <laughs> in virtual reality. So um, you can learn at your own pace and, you know, have nobody uh, to telling you what to do. Okay, so from transitioning from virtual reality to the real world, what, what VR does and what it's really good as it, it fills that gap between theory knowledge, like, you know, reading a book or doing a course online, and you've got this knowledge in your head, but you really don't know, you know, what are you going to do when you get on the water? So VR takes that and just smooths over that gap. So you go from theory knowledge, put on a VR headset and start developing skills on the water, but you're not really on the water. You're sitting on your couch or you're standing around at home in your kitchen or whatever. Um, and then VR also fills the gap between getting started on the water and gaining experience on the water. And that's a, that's a huge thing is that, yeah, again, I can teach you how to sail today, but how much experience have you got when the boat heels over or the wind picks up or you start, you forget, you know, what, what am I doing with my tacking or driving or whatever? I, I forget what I'm doing there. Um, you've done it enough times in VR that you really got it down and you know what's going on. Um, and then just look, the real world possibilities is VR builds that confidence, right? That expertise and that competence that you can now apply to the real world. So you get out on a boat and you're starting to sail and 
things are happening, but you know what is happening. It's it's inherent in your brain um, that you can you can handle a situation. Now, um, just be real cognizant of what we're saying here. We're not saying you can actually get on a boat and go sailing after you've done VR. I mean, of course, the lawyers would tell us, you know, don't say that. Do not say that <laughs> on a video. So what we're saying here, just to be very clear, you can learn all the theory, you can learn knowledge, you can learn skills, you can gain experience in VR, and then you can apply it to some trainings from a professional that you will get on the water um, or with somebody else that knows what is going on before you actually start scrippering yourself. Um, had to say that and make that very clear. Um, but the VR, what it does is it really smooths the transition and reduces that learning curve. So you can get out on the water um, and with an instructor and all of a sudden the instructor is going to say, wait a minute, you know what you're doing. How do you know what you're doing? You just told me you've never sailed before. Well, actually, I kind of have sailed or sailed in virtual reality. What, says the instructor. Um, but you'll blow that instructor away by the amount of knowledge that you'll have. And even when you start backing into the marina, they'll be like, what? How can you do this better than me? Uh, so it's, it's, it, that's the cool side of VR. Okay, so the essential VR equipment is... You'll need a MetaQuest uh, 2 or 3 or 3S uh, headset. Um, look, it's affordable. It's standalone. You just stick it on your head. There's no wires there. It costs is around about 300 bucks. Um, you can buy it on Meta and have it tomorrow if you want. Um, the motion controllers, they go in your hand, and that allows you to grab hold of the helm, uh, grab the winches, um, grab hold of the throttle control, um, trimming the sails and adjusting all the rigging. So that's what you'll need the motion controllers for. And then uh, you'll need the Marineverse app. And it, an app is like, you know, it's you're buying an app on your phone, right? So in the MetaQuest headset, you actually buy the app itself as well. It's the basic Marineverse app is about 20 bucks. And then there's an advanced uh, sail pass, which is $80 if you want to do like advanced stuff like docking. But for now, just getting started in virtual reality, you can just do the $20 app and then upgrade later on. Or if you buy them together at the start, I think there's a bit of a discount that goes with that as well. So look, here is, you know, a roadmap for learning and mastering how to sail. And, and it, it doesn't really matter where you are in your learning curve right now. You might be actually quite good um, or you might be just beginning. But the way to get to competence, you know, at Nautigate, we always say this, how to get to competence is theory knowledge, and you can do that through online courses with Nordic Ed. Practical skills in VR. So you do the theory knowledge, get some VR going, and then get some practical skills on the water with a Nordic Ed American National Standards instructor. And I, and I say on the water, I mean on the real water, not on the virtual water. Um, then, you know, come back to VR and start building that muscle memory that I've talked about all through this uh, presentation, building that muscle memory in virtual reality so that you keep that going. So once you get back out on the water with some friends or other skippers, um, you can take the helm and they'll be just like, wow, you really do know what you're doing. Um, now, the other thing that we always you know, really promote, a lot of times we get into sailing for this lifestyle, this beautiful um, visions of going to the Caribbean, um, Look, don't hold off until you think that you're competent about sailing. What we say is get an instructional skipper so that um, go to the Caribbean, go to the Mediterranean, get an instructional skipper, learn while you're doing it and learn in the real on the water environment on a vacation before you actually try to go skipper on a vacation. I think, you know, your first time skippering on a vacation, that's probably kind of a mistake. Um, always get an instructional skipper if you can um, because you're going to learn a lot of things uh, you're going to learn things that you can't learn even in your local waterway on the real water like you know managing the dinghy davit or managing water on the boat or managing the energy on the boat or you know navigating uh, a waterway that you don't know um, predicting wind predicting tides things like that so um i've, I've put this roadmap together of knowledge, practical skills, 
um, with an instructor, with VR, building muscle memory, uh, getting out on the water, doing a, a vacation um, on a beautiful location. And then, you know, after that, start skippering yourself. So that's a really good roadmap. Um, so look, thanks so much for listening to this presentation. You know, it's Nautic Ed. Uh, we're 21st century sailing and boating education. Um, and this is our partnership with Marineverse and they do virtual reality sailing and racing. Um, we've come together and we've put this amazing virtual reality program together. You'll absolutely be blown away. Uh, we're really excited to uh, have you participate in that. And again, come join us on Windy Wednesdays. Uh, learn about it through a little link that we'll put up, which is uh, our virtual reality course on Nautic Ed. Now, it's not really a course. It's the instruction set on how to get the headset, how to download the app, and how to connect it through uh, to Nautic Ed. So welcome to Nautic Ed, welcome to Reinverse, and welcome to virtual reality sailing, and, and welcome to fun. <laughs>